If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Here's a look that's kind of like a RoboCop look. <laughs> a little bit of a rusted RoboCop look, but I like it. Siege of Ogamar, uh, Spolders of the Fallen War Chief. Garage Hellscream drops those shoulders. Moving on to the chest, which is going to swing a Takata, which is the vicious Pyrium breastplate. It's crafted from blacksmithing, or you could buy it on the auction house. The choice is yours. Now we're going to move on to the belt, which is part of the same tier as quite a bit of pieces. Usually I don't have that much of a tier dedication to a piece or a set but with this one i just kind of like that i don't know it just says robocop to me i like this look uh the legs also part of the same crafted set as the chest kata level blacksmithing for the vicious pyrium leggards moving on to the feet which you really can't see that well on a troll the omni ominous mogu gray boots siege of ogamar of course uh, pretty easy pickup, about a 5% drop rate on the boots. The hands, uh, Kalaxian Blade Breakers, Siege of Ogamar, Siege Crafter Black Fuse, 22% on the drop rate. So the shoulders, the head, the belt, and the boots all from that same tier set from Siege of Ogamar. Uh, the head, as you can see, Thranox Shattering Helm. A lot of Shattering Helms going on nowadays, especially with Shadowlands coming. Parrot Feather Cloak, Freehold, Sky Captain Craig, 12% on the drop rate for the cloak. And the weapon, Doombringer, one of my favorites from Black Wing Lair or the Auction House. Dark Navy Blue and Yellow, yes, this works. This color combo really works. Cruel Gladiators, Plate Shielders, Legion PvP Vendor. You're gonna have to buy the whole set, that's the way it works. Until maybe in Shadowlands, things change in just a few marks of honor to get separate pieces. Wild Gladiators play chess piece. Wild PvP Vendor, marks of honor. That one's going to cost you three marks of honor, though, so that's pretty easy to pick up. Moving on to the belt, which you're going to have to farm straight out of Nyalotha, the Waking City. LFR version, Dressed Agath, which I probably said wrong. He has the belt of muttering truth, so... You can mutter the truth as to whether or not I said that right. I really don't know, and I really don't care. Wild Gladiators, Plate Laggards, Wad PvP Vendor, Marks of Honor to pick those up. So a little bit of Wad there, a little bit of Legion, and of course a little bit of BFA. Now we're going to Legion, Ferocious, Plate Gladiators, War Boots. So it's either Cruel or Ferocious. They both look the same, so maybe have a little bit more of one or the other, so you can check. Uh, Cruel Gladiators, Plate Gauntlets, which, of course, Legion PvP Vendor, or as I said, it could be uh, the other way around. It's They look alike. They have the same, just a different name, but same looking set in the Legion. So here we go. The uh, shoulders, the boots, and the gloves all from the same tier set. The headpiece is from Paladin tier set. This is the recolor for Warriors. The back is wad leather working, and the weapon is BFA. Uldir is the place, 10% drop rate. We're going to start off with the shoulders. I always like these shoulders and finally found something I could use them for. The Eternal Palace. Zequil is the boss. Kind of a low drop rate for the pauldrons of, you got it, Zequil. Anyway, moving on. The chess piece. Savage Gladiators Plate Chess Piece. Dalaran PvP Vendor. That's the Wrath of the Lich King version. Three marks of honor to pick up the chess piece. We have a Lady Jernai showing you the belt, Flare Forge Great Belt, Throne of Thunder Heroic, Cache of Storms, 10% on the drop rate for that particular belt. Moving on, the legs, also Savage Gladiators Plate Liggards, Dalaran Wrath of the Lich King, buy it from the vendor, three marks of honor to pick up those old school Wrath of the Lich King PvP pants, <laughs> the feet, Master Artilleryman Boots, Howling Forge, uh, preying upon the weak, it is a quest reward, so that's easy to pick up. The wrist, we're going with a wrist here, uh, which is uh, Wayquest Manor, various mobs, or buy it on the auction house. We're not showing any gloves, actually. And the Waycrest Guard's Cloak, of course, Drusfar. Uh, you're going to have to find a substitute for your horde. Tabard of the Brew, Brewfest, Brewfest Vendor. It's going to cost you gold to get that Brewfest Tabard. 
and the headpiece titanic onslaught great helm tomb of sargeras atragon is the boss kind of a low drop rate for that really scary looking mask and the weapon skull stealer great axe fireland shannix 11 percent on the drop rate this set is kind of a tweak of a set i did about eight or nine months ago gladiator's plate shoulders is incorrect uh, the shoulders are from Firelands Heroic. Not sure of the name, but it's part of the same tier set as the boots. So you can look up the boots on Wowhead and it'll give you a link for the set. And then on the link, you'll be able to find the shoulders if you're interested. Moving on to the belt, which is the Prideful Gladiator's Girdle of Accuracy. Mop PvP vendor, one mark of honor. If you hoard, you're going to have to go Grievous to pick up the belt. So that's super easy to get. Now the legs, part of the same tier set or raid set from Ulduar as the chest, clockwork leg plates, XT002 Deconstructor drops the legs, uh, kind of a fair drop rate. Moving on to a Lady Blood Elf, Cracked Obsidian Stompers, this is the boots I was talking about obviously, Firelands Heroic, 16% on the drop rate for the boots. Moving on to the belt, or should I say the hands actually, Kragoth's Iron Gauntlets, Tanan Jungle, Commander Kragoth. Decent drop rate of 35%. So head over to Tanan Jungle if you want to pick up the hands. Now this is where things get epic. I think this looks great on a Worgen, and that's rare. Guild of Thorian Cloak, Karazam BC, Terrestrian Ilhoof is the boss for the cloak. The head, Hateful Gladiators Plate Helm, Wrath of the Lich King PvP Vendor, which of course is the Wrath version of Dalaran. The weapon, Gladiator's Decapitator, got to head to Netherstorm, BC PvP Vendor. The shoulders are actually a Paladin set, but this is the recolor for Warriors at the Tomb of Sargeras Heroic. Garoth drops it, 12% on the drop rate for the shoulders, which of course is from Legion, doing the spin, showing the cape, which we'll get to in a minute. Breastplate of Tarnished Bronze, End Time, Morazond, kind of a fair drop rate to pick up that particular chest from Kata. Moving on to the belt, we've got a Lady Night Elf showing the Poison Binder Girth, Siege of Ogamar, LFR, Sun Tender Heart, kind of a fair drop rate to get the belt. Now the legs are part of the same dungeon drop set from Kata as the, it's part of that same set as the chest, Bloodhoof, Laggards, End Time, Echo of Bane. 12% uh, on the drop rate for the legs. So now the legs and chest are both from Kata. The feet, trampling war boots. Emerald Nightmare Heroic. Ursok is the boss. 8% on the drop rate for those warrior boots. I do believe those are warrior boots, if I'm not mistaken. And the hands, fitted iron bark gauntlets. Emerald Nightmare Heroic. Cenarius is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate for the hands. And the next piece shall be that cloak that we saw a little bit a little bit ago. Hellfire Ramparts, Vazrudin the Herald. Now that's spinning me back to BC to pick up the cloak. The head, Diadem of the Highborn. Kind of the same uh, Paladin tier set, but that's the recolor for warriors, so that's the way that works. And the weapon, Black Rock Foundry Heroic. Kicking things off with a Zandalari Troll, the shoulders. Bracken shell shoulder plates. We really get them well. Dragon Soul Heroic Marchok first boss. So it's really easy. Just go in there, boom, see if you get it first boss. Didn't get it, move on. Chest, dread aspirants, plate chest piece, BFA, PvP, drops from all sources of PvP. As you can see, I listed a few. Moving on, we have the belt, the shell buckle girdle. It drops from various BFA zones. Collector Kojo can also, you can buy it from him uh, for 1900 gold. Now, a lot of this is just alliance only type stuff. As you can see, the Dread Aspirants play Laggards, also alliance only. But I do show Horde characters. I keep saying this, but I realize a lot of first time viewers, not really a lot, but a few. And the bottom line is, so you guys know, I want to basically energize some new ideas and that's why I do show some horde tunes but a lot of this is dread aspirants on the alliance side this is both though the narsong hand wraps 
uh, Crash Rang Wilds. It's a quest reward to get the gloves, Death Chill Cloak, Wrath of the Lich King level tailoring. Find a tailor or just buy it on the auction house. The tabard is an alliance only tabard. It's Storm Wake Emissary, is who you buy it from once you get to a certain level of rep. And the head primal combatants plate helmet, wad PvP vendor. Moving on, we have the weapon, awesome demise, Nax Ramus, 10 man, awesome looking weapon. If you're still listening up and until now, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll close out by saying what I always say, whatever it is by you, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, make your day epic.